All right, NTSB released its final report from May 31st, 2020. This aircraft is in bad shape. There were three people involved and two sadly did not make it. So this is the National Transportation Safety Board. This was in uh, Pineville, Louisiana. Piper PA-28, loss of control in flight. Two fatal, one serious. Let's check it out. So several witnesses observed the plane taking off. Seemed like they were struggling to clear the end of the runway. Made a few turns and they saw a vertical in apparent stall and spin situation according to the witnesses. And it went into the heavily wooded terrain 1.5 miles from the departure end of the runway. Examination of the airframe and flight controls um, did not reveal any mechanical anomalies. So they're saying that it wasn't the aircraft's fault on this one. The estimated weight of the airplane at the time of the accident was at or slightly above its maximum gross weight. So they're kind of leaning towards that. So this is another picture of it here. I mean, this is, yeah, this is in bad shape. Uh, came down probably with a lot of speed. If they're saying it stalled and spinned it in, then... You know, fire is going to have to get on scene and try to make access to all these wooded areas. Not easy as well. Plus, you're dealing with three passengers. This is the aircraft. It was a Piper PA-28-180, built in 1968. But it was not the aircraft's uh, fault. Everything was uh, in good shape and working order, according to what they looked into. It was at this Pineville Municipal Airport off runaway uh, 36 and into this wooded area here about a mile and a half off. There was no radio distress calls um, heard from the pilots. Uh, flight control uh, continuity was confirmed from the cockpit. Two bladed uh, propeller hub was attached to its flange. Both blades um, had scoring on their leading edges consistent with the rotation of impact. So the engine was working at the time it hit the trees. And you can see uh, several small trees showed uh, cuts consistent to um, a cut of a propeller blade making contact. So you can see here from the scene that it was... Uh, going pretty good when it hit the trees fuselage severe tearing crumpling crushing of the cabin um yeah a lot of uh crushing and the fuel system was impacted but did not reveal any pre-impact anomalies so nothing to do with the fuel on this one either this is the volunteer statement from the witnesses basically saying that they saw it take off on runway 36 struggling to take any altitude cleared the trees at the end of the runway um banked again headed down wings vertical stall spin so that's joseph and then another witness also said uh, around the same time they i guess they were together when they saw the piper cherokee take off and um hit the ground about 1 7 p.m these are the two pilots ben and blake cooper their brothers and one of their uh sons were on the aircraft as well but the the child survived but these two sadly did not this is the pilot information 37 year old male if you're interested you can see the information there probable cause and findings ntsb determined the probable cause the airplane's inability to gain sufficient airspeed after takeoff due to it being at or above its maximum gross weight which resulted in loss of control contributing to the accident was the pilot's decision to operate the aircraft with it at its maximum gross weight as well so hopefully some lessons can be learned from this one if you want to see other NTSB final reports you can check here on the playlist and then I'll also link the NTSB report um, in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.